So I'm here in Target and they got these cute A New Day scarves. They're really pretty, granted it doesn't really get cold enough to wear something like this. It kind of does and we're slated to have a slightly colder than anticipated winter this year. So I have to say the quality of the clothing at Target is always good. These are cute. Little mules. Is that mock mock meat? I think it is. Ooh, these are cute too. Memory foam. I like those. Now, while the clothing is really good quality, it's been a long, long, long time since I've gotten since I've gotten any shoes from Target. Do they hold up well? I can't remember. I don't think I've actually ever really gotten shoes. Maybe like flip-flops or something. But I don't think I've ever actually gotten shoe shoes. One thing with the mock meat shoes is sometimes they can make your feet sweaty and smelly, which I don't like. Those are cute too, a little welly type. Ooh, I like those too. This would be good house shoes. Speaking of house shoes, we appear to have a good selection of slippers here. Ooh, super soft. Stars above. I feel like I got a pair of pajamas by this brand once before and I was really happy with them. Ooh, Love Beauty and Planet has this like Bath and Body Works inspired beloved line roasted chestnut and ginger. Y'all know I love my candles. I may have to snag one of these. Over here on this end cap, they got in these cute Santa mugs. Isn't that adorable? And then I noticed there's this one here. Oh, it's is that supposed to be? What is? What are you supposed to do with this? Though it's not really. Oh, it's a bowl. It's not very small. What are you gonna put in there? A figgy pudding. Here's some Thanksgiving stuff. This pie plate. And they've got some Christmas decorations out. I kind of like these little trees. It's pretty and that'd be good for like your office on a desk. Oh, $25. Oh no, it's for an accent chair. A little wreath is cute. All right, now I'm in here in Marshalls and I had to switch to my phone because my battery died and they have some cute Christmas stuff out. This little KitchenAid hand mugs. Oh wow, this is like the kind of mug that, well, it's not that big. Don't say it, don't say it, that's what she, ooh, now those are pretty. Of course. The gnome is back, although the mushroom gnome is especially adorable. He would go with my candy cane theme. Oh, I'm not gonna fall for the gnome. The gnome mania. Here we have some ornaments. When are you guys decorating for the holidays? Do you wait? Are you gonna wait until after Thanksgiving? I'm not, I don't think, unless I get too busy to do it earlier. Oh, these are adorable. Okay, I'm seriously tempted to get these. The Nutcracker Cupcake Kit with these little sticks. I just want the sticks, actually. Um, those are really cute. I might have to have those, $5.99. That's nice for your cookies. That's cute too for the cookies and milk. That would be cute for an office to put on your desk for just a little subtle cheer. I like these house ones, building ones, whatever. Those are nice.
Ooh, I like these wheat wraps. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Sheets. All right, I got some of these type of things at Costco a while ago, and I have been loving them. They just make, make it so that you have a lot more room in your cabinets. I use them to stack, like, my mugs and stuff. These DW Home candles are always really good. Boba tea? I don't really know what boba tea smells like. Like, is it a scent that I need wafting through my home? Oh my gosh, you guys. I found this mac and cheese candle. It actually smells like... It doesn't smell like macaroni and cheese. It smells more like cheese oats I mean, subtle difference, but you gotta really like the smell of cheese to get a candle like that. All right, I am back. I can't get over how windy it was out today, but it was a perfect day to wear this pullover that I got a while ago because you can zip it up. It's hard to do one-handed. You can zip it up and it makes like a nice cozy collar. It's just like the perfect loungewear type outfit. And these pants I've had for a really long time. I got them from Everlane, which if you've ever, have you guys ever shopped from Everlane? They have items that are actually fairly reasonably priced, I will say. But one thing I don't like about these pants is the zipper, <laughs> the fly always comes down. They're high-waisted, which I like, but the fly always comes down, so I don't wear them unless I have something to cover. Um, the tank that I'm wearing under this is from Cooley Bar, which initially I was like, seems kind of silly to have a UPF 50 tank. I mean, you're only, you're only getting coverage, you know, you're not covering your arms and your neck and all that stuff. Do you really need a UPF 50 tank? That being said, these tanks by Cooley Bar, I love them. They fit really comfortably. They look nice. And I kind of like the neutral colors that they come in. I have one in white, then I have this color, and I also have a gray one. They're just really flattering. They go well under things. And they're high enough that you do get some decent protection, at least under the collarbone. So I like that, you know, it's not just like a V-neck, which I typically gravitate towards. Anyways, I thought I would show you guys that. Nail polish that I have on is a Midnight, Midnight Drive. I don't know if you can see that. Midnight Drive from Sally Hansen. Holding on strong. What has gotten into me, you guys, with these nail nails i like it i don't know i went through a phase many years ago where i was really into painting my nails and then i just fell out the wagon it was like i don't know just kind of got frustrated bored with it and now i'm back back on the painted nails train anyways one thing i was lamenting after shopping in target is that i feel as though it has gotten to a point with consumerism where it is increasingly difficult to find things like at Target and want to buy them because you can't ever guarantee that you're going to be able to like replace something or get additional of that particular item. For example, if you buy Christmas ornaments at Target, like glass ornaments, say one of them breaks and you wanna get a replacement. Well, you can't buy another set the following year because they're just completely, it's, it's just completely disappeared. And I hate that. Like, I mean, sure, with, same thing with clothing. You know, you might find an, a type of shirt from Target that you're rather fond of. They're just too quick to turn over their inventory and bring in a whole new thing. And then you never are gonna find that shirt, sweater, pair of pants again. And that frustrates me to no end. Or like, like, Cups, glasses, glassware especially is the kind of thing where you might want to expand your glassware. Say you have a set of four and your family grows, you want more of the same type of glass. Forget it. If you got it at Target, you're not likely to you're not likely to find it ever again, which I think is really frustrating. And they kind of force you to buy all new all the time and always be like changing things out, changing things out. And I really don't like that because I'm the type of person where if I have an, something that works, then I'm not just gonna replace it for the fun of it, unless, you know, I don't know. I mean, 
I, I just feel like that encourages unnecessary spending, but yeah, I mean, it's not necessary. Anyways, rant aside, I am back and it is incredibly windy. In fact, I came close to whacking the neighboring car's door with my door because when I opened the door, the wind just whoosh, pushed it really forcefully. I was taken aback because we get wind here, but unless it's a hurricane, it's not a strong wind like that. I mean, I haven't experienced that here. So I was kind of taken aback by the force of the wind. Anyways, I'm glad to be back inside. I may make myself some tea. That's always good. Yeah, speaking of stuff that you can't get anymore, these wreaths were like all the rage at Target one year. And then there's a store here in Texas called Dirt Cheap. And I swear, they get all of the leftovers from Target as Target is coming in with new stuff and they had these at that store dirt cheap and as the name implies they were really really cheap really inexpensive it, straight from target um anyways it's not like if i wanted to get more of these forget about it i would never be able to find this wreath again uh, i'm sure i could find it like on ebay or something like that if i really went digging for it but i mean i'm not that interested but i'm just using it as an example of like if, if you expand your space and you want a duplicate, you know, you want an additional version of something you have to fill in the space, forget it. You've just got to buy all new, which I find incredibly frustrating. Or like these chairs. I got these chairs at Target. Granted, they're not like the most beautiful thing, but they are crazy comfortable. They're really comfortable. And if I ever wanted to get a third one, that's why I bought two, actually. I bought two because I knew I was never going to be able to find these again like once they were gone they were gone and that was it and so I got two but I only sit in one <laughs> actually I rarely sit in either of them because I'm just not a sitting person if I'm sitting it's because I'm sitting at my desk working <laughs> or I'm sitting here eating <laughs> but I'm not a sitter I'm a stander I even prefer to stand to work at my desk sometimes I will just like I find that if I'm sitting for a prolonged period of time, I feel uncomfortable. I don't do well with prolonged sitting. And it's not because I'm like antsy or I can't focus. I just get like uncomfortable sitting for longer than like 30 minutes. Yeah, and movie theaters too. If it's too cold in the movie theater, then I find it a lot more difficult to stay seated for the duration of a movie and not fidget around a bunch. <laughs> So when I was in Home Goods, sorry, Marshalls, I get them all confused. When I was in Marshalls, I was looking at the candles, that macaroni and cheese one, you guys, who? It smelled like, it smelled like cheese cracker, cheese it crackers, you know, that kind of fake cheese, which a lot of macaroni and cheese is that fake cheese. So I guess it was somewhat authentic, you know, like the blue box macaroni and cheese, that was kind of the cheesy level, not like actual cheese. You know what I mean? Um, but I wanted to update you guys on this Bath and Body Works candle that I got for Halloween. I'm almost, almost burned my way through it. But the Wicked Apple scent, I really like it. It's actually really good and it's burning really cleanly. I did trim the wicks the first time, but I haven't trimmed them since. And I'm not getting any of that black ring that I typically get with Bath and Body Works candles. So this has been a really good one. And my cute little ghost cage there. All right, so I decided to take Run DMC out of the box and I thought I would show you guys. This is actually, uh, it's a little homey. I don't see these anymore. You used to be able to get them in like a little gumball machine. They had all sorts. Anyways, yeah, I took Run DMC, the little people out of, out of the box. I got these because why not? <laughs> They're so cute. I'm really hoping they come out with more different hip hop little people. I'm totally get into that and collect them all. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you guys know I collect dolls. Um, I have a small doll collection. So I moved this uh, desk into my closet to set this. This I got at Ikea. It's really easy to put together. And so, yeah, I just have some of my dolls here I've got. Margot there, my Blythe doll. And this Audrey Hepburn, actually a viewer sent that to me. Isn't it cool? And it's like got bendable joints. Anyways, 
Like, you can take her gloves off and, like, reposition the angle of her hand and put them back on. It's kind of interesting. And these I've had forever, Madame Alexander dolls. <clears throat> and then this is just a little hedgehog viewer sent me. And that's my um, American girl. What is she called? Um, her name is Camille, but I forget what they're called. Welly Wisher. Then this is my antique composition doll. Um, these are not too easy to find, but I got her at Uncommon Objects. And that's a bank with coins in it. Yeah, if you were in the market for a Christmas gift for a child, these little people are adorable. <laughs> So I was just catching up on some of your comments from today's vlog, which is a week old by the time you're watching this one. And many of you chimed in on whether or not you change your own oil. It sounds like you guys are like me and you don't change your own oil. And some of you do drive a stick, but not very many of you. Uh, one of you even volunteered to teach me how to drive a stick virtually. I don't know how that would occur, but... Yeah, there are so many things that I lament not knowing how to do. That, changing the oil in my car. I don't actually even know how to change a tire, and that is definitely something worth learning how to do for sure. Especially driving around here, it's bound to happen where I get a flat tire at some point because we have so many potholes and random nails here and there. I've already gotten a nail in one of my tires and it went like flat but slowly. I was able to fill it up with air and take it to, take it to uh, the auto shop, there you go, <laughs> and get, get it patched up. So I definitely should learn how to change a tire. It kind of intimidates me, not so much like the action of like changing the tire, but I'm kind of slightly frightened of the whole aspect of elevating the car up or whatever on the jack. That scares me, I don't know why. It's, that is one of those things where it's kind of like, have you ever been blowing up a balloon and you get to a certain point with blowing it up and you're a little, you're not so sure if you should keep putting more air into the balloon or if it's gonna burst? I'm really timid with that too because I feel like, well, what if I overfill it and it erupts on my face? <laughs> uh, yeah, blowing up balloons is one of those things you should always, always, always outsource. <laughs> Because, I don't know, you can get, of course it's not dangerous to blow up balloons, but you get dizzy, it's a pain. Get one of those gizmos, those little helium tanks. Body moisturizer that I discovered in the Croge, and I am loving. I know I was recently raving about this bad boy, which I really like, the Bioderma Adaderm Cream. But, you guys who watch my vlogs, you are you are getting you are getting some inside information because I saw this at Kroger. It's by Aquation, and you guys who have been following me for a while remember I reviewed this brand. I really love it. You can get it at Walmart. Or honestly, I have not seen it in a long time. It's hard to find, but when you find it, it is like a gem. Aquation. I want to say they're cruelty free. At least they were back when I was reviewing their products. They have like a body moisturizer, a lotion, and a a face wash really good they have ceramides anyways i saw they came out with some new body moisturizers that appear to only be carried in kroger and other grocery stores that are under the kroger family so we call it kroger here but i know in other states it's a different grocery store name anyways i picked up this impulsively and i love it it's the new collagen cream now collagen and skincare products it mostly it just acts as a humectant it's not like it gets in and replaces damaged collagen or anything but in acting like a humectant it helps with skin hydration the top dead layer of the skin especially and that just kind of has a wrinkle smoothing effect but this also has ceramides in it and it's got uh, shea butter it has um what else does it have it does have coconut oil which you guys know from my videos some people find that breaks them out anyways it has jojoba seed oil another wonderful emollient panthenol free of fragrance, but they have one that has, they have a hyaluronic acid version and they have one that has retinol in it. So that one I think would be a great one for the body, obviously. 
for those of you who deal with stretch marks that you're trying to improve the appearance of. It's actually, I think it's probably gonna be similar to the, oh God, what is that brand um, that has retinol in it? It's really good, it's very affordable. Advanced Clinicals, Advanced Clinicals Body Retinol. I think it's probably gonna be similar to that. But like I said, I think they're pretty, I think they're cruelty free, unless they like change that, which I don't think they would. Um, free of fragrance, only $9.99, which is a great deal for this tub of 16 ounce moisturizer. That's a really good value, I thought. So I went ahead and grabbed it because as if I don't have enough fragrance free, thick and juicy body moisturizers. That's what I like about it. It's really, really thick and really good at putting the brakes on that water loss out of the skin. I was gonna say something and then I lost my train of thought. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? I was gonna tell you guys something really witty to conclude this vlog and it just escaped my tiny little memory bank. Anyway, I guess it wasn't that witty. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you're having a great weekend when you're watching this. It is Halloween, so I hope you had fun. Although I feel as though most people are celebrating Halloween like on Saturday. They should have some kind of trick or treat event for adults, like where you could go and get free stuff. <laughs> free samples. Wouldn't that be cool if Costco had a tr trunk or treat for adults and they just had a bunch of different samples, but like way more than they typically do in like industrial size sampling, that would be really fun. But you would have to drive, you would have to dress up and you would have to, you would have to be a member, sorry. Um, it wouldn't just be for everybody. It'd be for Costco members only. They could even have adult beverages. They could be sampling their adult beverages. So you would have to have an ID to get in and it would only be for members. And I think that would be really fun actually. Dress up, people could dress up as like their favorite Costco items. Like those, what are those giant squishy toys that everybody is all about? I'm seriously always tempted to get one. And then I'm like, what do I need that for? And like. It's like a squish -em -all, yeah. You could dress up as a squish -em -all. You could dress up as a food court food, like the pizza or the chicken bake, which word on the street is the chicken bakes, obviously I'm vegan, I don't eat them, but I have heard that in the past few years, they have had dwindling amounts of twi twicken, dwindling amounts of chicken in them. And people are talking about how they all get the chicken bake and there's like no chicken in it, which is, fraud. <laughs> uh, what can I say, Costco? I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I love Costco. They had a vegan dish in the food court for a while. I haven't seen it back. It was like, it was like a mock meat kind of a sandwich or something. Comment below if you have ever tried that because I lament not having tried that. I lament not having tried that and not knowing how to change a tire. Two things that would come in handy. One, just knowing what Costco can, can do, you know, it's powers. Anyways, guys, like I said, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.